Okay, on this example, our goal is to find an exponential function that goes through two points that are given to us. So on this one, it's a little bit more difficult because neither one of these ordered pairs is our y-intercept. So let's get going on this. I'll walk us through all the steps as we go through. First of all, we know it's an exponential function. So that means it has to fit into this format, a times b to the x power. So what I'm gonna do is first create two equations here based on these ordered pairs that we're given, right? We have three as an x value goes with one for an f of x or y value. So one uh, equation we can get is plug in one for f of x, plug in three for our x. A second equation can be used in the ordered pair five, four. So that's gonna be plug in four for f of x uh, equals a times b to the fifth power, plugging in five for x in our general exponential function form. All right, now we have two equations and two unknowns. Sometimes this is referred to as a system of equations. So I wanna introduce four steps that can get us through these systems of equations. Um, this method is referred to as the substitution method. And I'm gonna write the steps off to the side as we go through them. So the very first step is we have two equations, two variables. We wanna solve one equation for a variable. Okay, so two equations, two variables. I like to pick out whichever equation I think is gonna be easiest to solve for a variable. Um, I think solving for A in either one of these is probably gonna be easier to so solve for than for B. I'm just gonna stick with the left equation as I wrote it because it's got a little bit smaller numbers. So to get A on one side by itself here, we'll just divide both sides by B cubed. So that'll put A on one side by itself over B cubed, end of step number one. Okay, step number two, we are going to substitute. This is why it's called the substitution method into the other equation. Okay, so what I mean by that is we know A is supposed to equal one over B cubed we're gonna take that over to our other equation and we're gonna substitute in and replace the A in the other equation with what we just said A is supposed to equal. So at this point we can say four equals instead of A, we're gonna put one over B cubed in its spot. We're gonna substitute in and replace this A and that's gonna be step number two. Okay, third step to this method is we've just created an equation that only has one unknown. We only don't know what B is, right? So it's our only variable remaining. We're going to solve for the remaining variable. All right, so let's try to solve this down for B. First thing I would probably do is kind of visualize this as B to the fifth over B. So if I wanted to combine these together into a single fraction, I'd multiply numerators and I'd multiply denominators. Now we can simplify this down because we have Bs in numerator and denominator. So I usually ask myself, where do I have more Bs and how many more? Well, we have more in the numerator and there are two more. So we're gonna be left with B squared in the numerator. Okay, so our goal is still to solve for B. We need to get rid of the square. So let's apply a square root to both sides. Now I know it's tempting to put both a positive and negative out in front here, because that's what we're conditioned to do whenever we apply a square root to both sides of an equation. However, based on this situation, B is the base for this exponential uh, function. And that base is not allowed to be negative. So we, in this situation, can actually get rid of the positive and negative case. We only need the positive case. So the square root of four is gonna be two. So we know one of our variables. The fourth step, and probably the easiest place to go on this, um, is we're gonna substitute back into step one. Now, technically, um, you can substitute back into either one of these original equations with your B value you just found. However, in step one, we've already done all the work to get the other variable on one side all by itself. So it's just gonna be a little bit less work 
Sometimes this step is referred to as back substitution. So we're gonna go back up here, substitute in, and we have one over two cubed is our A value. So two cubed works out to be eight. So our A value is eight. And that completes step number four. All right, so to finish this up, let's put this all together. Our function that we just found is f of x equals a one eighth multiplied by b two to the x power. So I just took our value for a, our value for b, and I put it back into this general format, the a times b to the x power. All right, substitution method is very handy to know about. Um, whenever you can set up two equations and two variables, you can basically follow these steps and solve down for both variables. I hope this helps out um, as you're trying to find exponential functions. Good luck.